This is the Microtik MQS, or Mobile Quick Setup Device. It provides power over Ethernet, PoE, as well as Wi-Fi for testing and configuring network devices in the field with only a phone or tablet. To restore the device to a known configuration, hold the side button labeled Reset while plugging the device in. The user LED will illuminate indicating the device is running the factory configuration. Using a nearby computer or tablet, connect to the RBMQS AP1 network. From the network configuration, we can grab the default device IP 192.168.88.3. After opening a browser, we can connect to that IP address to bring up the device configuration page. The default username is admin with no password. Before using these devices in the field, it's a good idea to head over to the Upgrade tab and apply the latest firmware obtained from the Microtik website. Which right now is 1.5.1. We'll select it from the browser and upload it to the device. After the upgrade completes, head back to the Quick Set tab to configure the device as a pass-through wireless Ethernet bridge on M1, which is the default power on configuration. Under DHCP Client, select DHCP with fallback, and under DHCP Server, uncheck the DHCP Server enabled box. This allows the node to directly provide an address and DNS server to the connecting device. You may set a Wi-Fi password for the device if desired. Click Apply Settings and wait for the settings to save before removing power from the device. Now plug in an Arden Mesh node into the PoE port and power the device again. At this point, the node will begin booting. Back on the computer, I will be going back to the network configuration and refreshing the DHCP lease until we see that the node has given us a 10 slash 8 address. We'll continue to refresh and reconnect to the network. It won't be returning that uh, mesh address until the node is fully booted, so there will be a 1 to 2 minute delay. Now we see that uh, we have the proper address, so we should be able to go to the browser and connect to localnode.local.mesh on port 88 to access the Arden setup page. And the MQS device can also be used for flashing Arden firmware to compatible devices without additional wires, switches, and power supplies. In the field, the MQS device is convenient for testing by enabling nodes to run from these ubiquitous 5-volt power sources, such as a cell phone power bank. Once connected and powered by the MQS, the node can be accessed from any smartphone or tablet for a compact, road-ready setup.